You ready? Okay. And we are back between two Yetis uh, at the Miami Boat Show 2018, day one over here at Watson Island with the lovely Miss Jessica Engelman from Northrop and Johnson. How are Hello, you, Jess? Hello, I'm good. Thank you for having me. It is in the afternoon. We're a bit late starting today, but uh, how's it been today? It's been good. I actually just got here myself. Excellent. Good. So I've looked at two boats today. Right. Um, two expedition style yachts for a charter client who is interested in going to some exotic locations. Now, what do you mean by exotic? Where are we talking here? He's talking South Pacific, um, the Arctic, just the Maldives, off, off the beaten track, cruising destinations. He's interested in scuba diving and surfing. So it's exciting for me as a broker yeah. to look at these boats and plan these trips with him because it excites me just as much as it excites him. Do you get anyone asking to go and do the uh, the Northwest Passage at all or not really? I haven't. Because um, that sounds like a really expensive charter. It probably would be. <laughs> um, Ann Landry, my colleague, just did a fam trip in Antarctica. Yep. So that was cool to hear about and her adventure down there was awesome. That's so. very, very cool. Tell yeah. us a little bit about you. You're obviously from Northrop and Johnson, which is, uh, they've been around a long, long time, right? Yep, I've been with Northrop for over three years this January. And it's great, you know, my sister is a broker there as well, so it's nice to see her every day. And Twin sister, no yeah. less. So it's a good family company, you know, I love everybody that I work with, we get along really well. It's it's a fun, you know, you don't feel like you're going to work every day. It's, well, that's cool. I learn something every day, I, you know, I like my colleagues. Yeah, So. but you just do purely charter, right? Purely charter, yep. Which is, and explain what a charter really is, it's just, like a holiday or? It's a, it's a client's call because they want to go on a, a holiday to the Bahamas for a week or the Med for a week. Yeah. And they have the option to charter these boats for a week, for 10 days, two weeks, whatever they'd like, and use them as their own with, with the crew. And, you know, essentially they can go almost anywhere. Now, do people use charters as a way to see if they like a boat to buy or is it purely really as a vacation or a mixture of both? I say mostly for vacation, mm -hmm. but yes, we do get, like for these expedition clients, they want to try before they buy. So. And is it normally if they get try before they buy, they love the charter experience so much that they don't buy or they then they do buy? Yeah, or? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> for me, it's better if they keep chartering. Yep, absolutely. Um, obviously <laughs> they might buy, which is great too because Owning a boat is fun. You know, I think yachting is so much fun that to see them happy makes me happy. Yeah, that's so. very, very cool. And Northrop and Johnson just moved into your new offices, didn't you? We just moved to LMC. Uh, last Monday was our first official day in the office. It's awesome. Uh, we're, you know, we have charter boats, sailboats right outside our doors. So if I have a, a boat I need to, need to see for a client, I can walk right over and take pictures of the, of the cabins, of, of anything that they've asked. And it's really convenient. That makes us. it a lot, lot easier if it's right there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've already, you know, I, I presented one boat and I looked on AIS and I said, oh, the boat's coming back from the Caribbean. And then a couple of days later, I looked again and there it was at LMC. Yeah. So I said, let me just go walk over to that boat and see what's going on. And I did. And so. That's very cool. It's cool. Quick question about the hurricane. Has that really affected charter here or has it just moved somewhere else like the Med? It's made it busier here in the in the Bahamas for sure for the winter and for the summer. How do you mean busier? Just because there's less ports available because they were destroyed? Or? Yeah, because the Caribbean, you know, the Caribbean season was, you know, boats did go down there and some stayed busy, but a lot stayed here. Mm -hmm. um, if you want a spring break charter in, in the Exumas right now and you don't have dockage for Easter or for the whole month of April, you're pretty much going to sit at anchor. Yeah. <laughs> so. Interesting. But are you seeing a lot more people wanting to go to Europe now with the... We, the, it's very busy uh, all around. I mean, the Met is busy, Greece is busy, busier than last year. The Greece Bahamas Greece too. in particular though, right? Well, Greece for me, a lot of my charters this summer are in Greece. Any particular reason for that? They just want to try new places, the sick of Italy, who wouldn't um, be in France? Greece is, is it's, a, it's a vacation spot. It's not go to the Italian Riviera or south of France and go, 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 go. It's, Greece is very laid back. It's almost like going to the Bahamas kind of with, yeah. you know, you're relaxing on the beach and good food and it's it's fun. Oh, very, very cool. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about interesting about yourself. Well, How did you be... get into yachting to start with? Oh boy. <laughs> and what well, did you do before that? So when I was in college, I was a freshman at the University of Florida. And Is my, that a gator? Yes. Right. My, yeah. my dad was, he traveled all the time when I was a kid, so we had all these frequent fire miles, and we had the opportunity as a family to go somewhere. So we went to St. Martin for 
after my older sister graduated from college. Mm -hmm. So I was 19 at the time. So here I am in May in St. Martin. There's all these huge yachts around and cool crew, and I meet all these people. Uh, yeah, so when I went back to college, I joined the sailing club. Right. And I learned how to sail, and I learned port from starboard, and you know, I just read every book I could about sailing, you know, boating, anything like that. And so when I graduated college, literally within a week of getting my diploma, I was on a boat in the Bahamas. That's crew. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yep. And so yeah, so I did that for five years. I did the Med. I did the Bahamas, the Caribbean, New England, and some of the west coast of Florida. But five years later, I said, you know, I I love this industry, but I need a change. Yeah. And so I. Um, a broker that sold the last boat I crewed on, mm. whose office was about three miles from my parents' house in Clearwater. Okay. So it worked out really well where I could go home and see my family and do be a charter broker. Yeah. And so I did that, and then I joined Northrop after a couple of years. Do you find that being on a boat as crew helps with what you do now? You know all the little intricacies of a boat, you know? Definitely, you know, people ask the, so many questions. So someone will ask, oh, will I get seasick in the Bahamas or, you know. What kind of question is that? Do they really ask that? It's oh, like, yeah. It's so, a boat. Of course you're going to get seasick. Well, seasick. the Bahamas is so shallow and I've had so much experience there that there really isn't the opportunity for, for waves to really build up like they kind of do in the Caribbean. Yeah. So you're pretty much going to sit still in the Bahamas. Oh, I mean, I obviously didn't know some that. of the longer passages might be a little Rough. more rougher, but I mean, at anchor in the Exumas, you're, you're still. So. And it helps for, for telling about clients about what to do in certain spots. I mean, I could close my eyes and talk about the Exumas. Yeah. Um, the Med, the same, you know, Croatia is awesome. And even the Caribbean, you know, all about the BVIs and where to go and St. Yeah. Martin, St. Bart's. And so it really, really helps with your knowledge of the world. And, you know, I just like learning about new places anyways. So it's fun when you get clients that want to do the Galapagos. Yeah. I've been there twice. Very cool. So it's really cool to be able to really talk somebody about, oh my gosh, there's animals everywhere. And you know, you will see sea lions there really everywhere. And That's it's very really cool. cool so. What's the strangest request you've ever had from a child? Do they ask for hookers and stuff like that? Um, I haven't had that. But you've heard of that being asked for. I've, yeah, I've, I've heard of that. Um, but has anyone ever said, like, get me a monkey or I want a parade on the boat or anything crazy? No, like that, but we get people that are scared of flying, so they want to cruise from here to St. Thomas with their dog on board, and it's they don't understand, like, they don't look at a map, I don't think. Yeah. Because it's a really long journey, and for a week charter, I mean, you're going to be cruising that entire time. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I'd say, you know, we get unrealistic expectations right off the bat a lot. Yeah. Well, we are between the at Miami. Jess, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. Thanks, guys.